NASA's James Webb Space Telescope detects newly discovered blue supergiant star in the early universe. The recently discovered blue supergiant was formed when the universe was roughly 2.6 billion years old, and is significantly hotter than the Sun. Massive gravitational lenses like galaxies and galaxy clusters may amplify intrinsically dim background sources because their areas of highest magnification are narrow, and this is especially the case for intrinsically compact sources that are close to their critical curves. In the early 1990s, it was proposed that galaxy cluster lenses would cause stars to become greatly magnified. Icarus, a blue supergiant in a spiral galaxy with a redshift of Z equals 1.49, was the first instance of a highly magnified star. The star was located in the field of view of the Max J1149.5 plus 2223 galaxy cluster taken by the NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. The background star's amplification increased by a factor of around 3 to 2000 due to microlensing by a foreground object in the lens. More recently, beyond galaxy cluster field WHL 0137-08, scientists discovered the extremely magnified star, Irindal, at a redshift of 0 equals 6.2. Microlensing, which gives concrete proof that the source has a size of fewer than tens of astronomical units, has not yet been found for Irindal, in contrast to the earlier cases. The James Webb Space Telescope enhances our ability to spot transient events inside highly magnified parts of galaxy cluster fields, with a photon collection area six times larger than that of Hubble, and a sensitivity across the infrared. In a new study, Dr. Chen and his co-authors detected an extremely magnified star using Webb's nearest cam images of the Abel 2744 galaxy cluster field. The star is so far away that it has taken almost 11.2 billion years for its light to reach our planet with a redshift of Z equals 2.65. Both the solar mass microlens and the gravitational lens of the Abel 2744 cluster amplified it by a factor of 10,000. The star is believed to be a blue supergiant with a surface temperature between 7,000 and 12,000 Kelvin. The team stated that it is a very luminous blue supergiant, type A0 or F5, that is required to explain the microlensing event we have discovered. The team's work will be published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. So, as always, if you want to learn more about space and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.